Hi, this is Rambo 7 x and this is going to be System Test 1, Fire Alarms, my first YouTube video. So, let's start off at the fire panel. This is not a normal fire alarm panel. There's two in the system, though. This is a suppression panel. Fire alarm extinguishing release panel. I'm going to explain this really quick because it's a little bit different. Alarm is the first stage of the system activation. And that is when the first detector trips. This one. Then when the second detector trips, which is that smoke detector way up there, it's going to go into pre-discharge right here. Which that is where it's going to start counting down, and a second alarm is going to go off until it releases. Then once the countdown is over and it releases, this release light will come on, and it would, would be releasing the fire extinguishing solution. Yeah, this system is not hooked up to a fire extinguishing solution, just because I don't have one. Now, there's a trouble on the system. No batteries, so be prepared for that. No, it is not running. Now, let's go to the second panel. This is a Simplex 4001. This is a normal fire alarm control panel. So, general stuff, except for it's hooked up a little bit different. It's linked to the SHP over here, Fark SHP. Now, how it's going to work is when the Fark SHP goes into alarm, it's going to start pulsing its alarm. Its alarm is the NS, Wheelock NS. It's going to start pulsing it at March time. Then, when second stage occurs, it's going to get a second zone alarm on here. And you will not be able to silence the alarm at that point. And the SHD will come on on the fire system over here. I'll explain that in a moment. The NS will continue pulsing normally. Then when the release occurs, I'm not sure what zone that is, the NS will go solid and the third alarm on the SHP will go off. This is a pulse station hooked up to this panel only. It will not trip the SHP. So, let's explain the alarms up here. This is a Wheelock RSS. They are not mounted, by the way. This is for the alarm stage of the SHP panel down here. When the alarm stage is over and the pre-discharge stage is activated by a second alarm, the SHG right here is going to start pulsing a march time. And this strobe is going to stop flashing. Then that's the countdown occurring until release. And after the, when the release occurs, this is going to go off. Here's the smoke detector up here that I was pointing to. Central 429C. Now, there's one more detector. Sorry, it's a mess back here. It is this. This is another heat detector. And this one is going to be hooked to the manual release zone. It pretty much just skips the entire pre-discharge stage and just goes to full-on release. So, let's get to it. I'm going to power up the panels, and we're going to set it off. So, I've got it on a power strip down here, and this is just a random enunciator that is just hooked up to power. It's not doing anything yet. There it goes, panels. So, as you can see, all the panels are on. Uh, this one's on, and the SHP here is on. AC normal light is on. There's going to tr be a trouble pop up in a moment, but let's just activate it now. The old 429C smoke detector up there is so old that it can't detect smoke anymore. So, we're going to have to manually activate it right here. There's the trouble. So, three, two, one. There's the alarm. This strobe up there is now flashing. And the NS is pulsing. Now, see, zone 1 alarm on the 4001. So now, let's activate second stage. I don't have a heat source with me, so I'm going to have to activate the smoke detector manually. Now the SHG is now pulsing, and this can't be silenced. It is now counted down till release. 
Now let's wait for the release. This is going to take approximately 20 more seconds until it goes into the lake. The system is now in full release. The fire extinguishing will be going off. Don't silence it. Now the NS is solid and I can't silence that panel. I have to reset this first. So, let's reset the SHP. And silence the 4001. Okay. That might have been a little confusing. It took a moment, a bit longer than I expected, for it to go into release. So. Now, the system will have released, and I have to reset this panel before I can silence this one up here. So now, let's reset the 4001. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Oops. There's the trouble. Also, please excuse me, I'm a little bit sick today. Okay. Let's demonstrate the pull station up here. This is on the 4001 panel. I found it now. That only activates the fire alarm portion, not the suppression portion. So, now let's go and activate the manual release zone. So... This is the smoke detector for the manual release. Well, not smoke detector. Excuse me, heat detector. Let's activate it. This is just going to go straight to release. Okay, that was the manual release heat detector activated. So, let's go and put this head back in. And now, let's go reset the system. Reset this panel. And let's reset after we reset this pole station. Oh man, I almost forgot. Okay. So I have to do this one handed. Oops. So, there's this pull station reset. Uh. Okay. Now let's reset the 4001. Okay. Well, that's it for system test one. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the camera shakiness. And please subscribe, rate, comment, like, whatever you want to do. And have a nice day.